Mika. Oh, I, it was, I think it's Mika. Yeah, but he likes her, so it's Milaika. Milaika, yes, Milaika and Didi. Okay. Oh, Aries got the phonetic, phonetical breakdown. Koshia. Okay, Koshia. There you go. That's my. That's my girl. I guess it's Japanese. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, All right. So let's ask that first. Funny. Let's ask that first question then. Let's ask that first question. Yeah. Uh, Demonte Diamond. Um, why do you think he had to go first? Like, what do you feel like he didn't do correctly, or what do you feel like maybe he didn't do enough of that let him, uh, let him be let go? You know, you know, let go and let God, they, as they say. And uh, God parted the seas for him to walk right through and out those gates because <laughs> she got to go. So what's your guys' thoughts? Why is it that someone said bad credit? That could be a reason why, you know. Um, what is it that you saw? What is it that you might have observed that you think that that's why they had to let Diamante, Diamante go? Yeah, Jay, I see you ready. Go well, on, what did you see? I think it was the bad credit plus him being a photographer and the fashion stylist is not stable so that was a big turn off straight away for them and then obviously they dissed his outfit too so you know like four major things um credit's always going to be a bad one um and he didn't have enough to um, recover in other areas from what we saw so yeah i'm not surprised he was going home Actually, I'll tell a lie. I did think the comedian would be up there for, for elimination, for sure. You know, because he's got like a couple kids and he's a comedian, so money's going to be tight with him. But yeah, right choice. Just too early. Just too early. I hear that. I hear that. Jay, what's your thoughts on this, man? D Diamante, Diamante. He had to go. Let Sean go first because I'm going to get a women's perspective. Go ahead. Ooh, okay. Sean, what happened to DeMonte? Why was he demoted? <laughs> well, I kind of mentioned it a little bit. I think, you know, he was too, too, too talkative about himself, you know, too much talking about the fashion uh, and, 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 and not um, really getting to know the ladies. I think that just always, you know, when you when you come in peacocking too soon, I think men we have a you know it's a fine line uh, with us and like being attention seeking, and I think um, you have to have the right personality personality and charisma to back that up. If you're like a peacock, meaning like you you really dress flamboyant and you know you wear you know things to get attention. If your personality doesn't match the a lot of women I've found just they're not gonna want to. They're not, they're going to feel like you're soaking up all the attention and it's too much. So he didn't have the personality to ba balance it. And he wasn't stable. The brother came in, talking about he's a fashion stylist, whoop de whoop de whoop 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 But then he only did seven fashion shows. So it sounded like it, he was like newer in his fashion career. So I'm like, bro, maybe you should have just left that out. Like, is that what you're really doing? Is that a hobby? Is that a side hustle? You know, things of that nature. So I think that's kind of what messed him up. And I had to go listen to the replay and I heard him talking about his credit. Yeah, we, we need to go easy on sharing. You know, let him know you first, bro. He needs to go to, you know, Dusty 101 and you got to get him locked in before you share your information with them, especially if it's, you know, your credit ain't where the credit needs to be. Yeah, you you need to just you just don't 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 give that all up at the mixer because. I'm I'm wondering why he actually um, why he shared that. I don't know if the, one of the ladies asked him a question. I have a feeling production set him up with that. I, I, someone was, someone was there going, ask him about the credit. Ask him about the credit. You know, uh, uh, and send him to the to the to the gulag in that in that respect. But um, yeah, it was a little bit early to probably say that to color, uh, especially if your credit isn't great. You know, I mean, if your credit is amazing, then you know you say, hey, yeah, look, my credit's great. Listen, but I don't want to talk about that. You know, but it's like if your credit's bad, it's like yeah, no, I don't want to talk about it now. He doesn't win. Whoever asks that question, he never wins. 
Because if he doesn't answer it today, tomorrow is going to be worse. I can guarantee. Because once he says, oh, no, I don't want to talk about it right now, they're going to be like, in the back of their minds, they're going to be like, well, it must be bad because if it was good, you would have said it. Do you get what I'm saying to you? Like, you don't win. So whoever asked the question sent him to the gulag, okay? That person is bad mind for that, okay? I don't know if it was production or whether that was uh, uh, conscience, again, being conscious about what she's trying to do and set him up. I don't know. But uh, she opened that floodgate for him to, to be decimated. And because you can't ask that question, you know what I mean? Like, like, yeah, it's just, it's nuts um, as well. So, yeah, but yes, you know, having that level of bad, cre bad credit at this age, you know, it's not great um, in this particular environment, I think it is, when you're trying to put your best foot forward. Yes, Jay, give us a lady's perspective as well. I agree with y'all saying it, the bad credit in this in this late in the game is not always a good thing, especially when you don't have a job to compensate for the credit, the debt, whatever you got going on. That's one red flag. Two, you're you have rich man spirit on a poor man's mentality, meaning you're coming up in here flashy dressed and all this stuff like that, but you ain't got your ins and outs in the background. Your account is not right. That's also a bad thing. Three. You don't listen, nor when you got the opportunity to actually speak on self, you take that opportunity to do so. But any other time you're speaking on self. When the tattoo situation come up, that's the perfect time. You just got through telling her, you don't listen to yourself. So you just got through telling her, all my tattoos mean something. Literally, I can tell you what all my tattoos mean. Most people that get every last tattoo can have a full body cover up of tattoos and can tell you what every last tattoo mean. This one on my hand, I should be able to look at my hand and say, oh yeah, this one right here, I got this such and such, such. Just for you to dismiss me and say, I don't know about that, I can't remember. We already know we about to start having problems through the whole relationship with that, okay? Three or four, I don't know what number I'm on now because it's a problem, we got too many numbers already. We just finished the game on how much do you know about these ladies? You're talking about how you, intentional you're going to be to get to know these ladies. And what you do is have every conversation about self right afterwards. What is happening? What is really happening? Not only that, you're critiquing everybody's fashion up in here. You're walking in and critiquing all the ladies' fashion. Don't nobody want to come down and be broken down at the mixture. That's all bad. So it was just a combination of a whole bunch of stuff for this man that put him at the bottom and eventually got him off the show. So I don't know. I Everything y'all said, especially Sean, Pitt, the first thing you started with, absolutely right. Like, my man is off. So bye. Yeah, listen, I think he was a little bit, I don't know. The energy was a little bit. <clears throat> yep. Pause. But uh, the energy was a little. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I just felt like, you know, I just felt like he didn't really convey, or at least the clips that they showed really didn't convey him really getting to grips with anybody else apart from himself. So there wasn't really any conversation where you hear him really exploring with anybody else about them. It always seems to come back to him. Now, sometimes that can be a little bit of nervousness. You know, you don't, you're trying to put your best foot forward and you overcompensate. Or sometimes you really are egotistical and all you, all you know about is yourself, right? I don't know if it's either one uh, personally, but what